So guys, I just wanted to share with you some of the, uh, the common feedback that uh, you guys have been giving us as, uh, you know, prior to becoming customers of ourselves and as we talk to, to people like yourselves from the recruitment industry, you're all faced with the, the, the same challenges on a day-to-day -day basis and, um, you know, primarily one of the key things that you all talk to us about is the, the overload of paperwork that, uh, that you have uh, to contend with. Now, we have a customer that uh, is using this particular pieces of technology um, that we'll see today. Uh, they, they use it to support, and again, it's a recruitment company, that they use it to support 19 different sites um, within their, their, their whole customer portfolio. So for one customer, they support 19 sites and across the year would deliver in the range of about 20,000 inductions and assessments um, prior to do, prior to using our technology, they were doing this, um, you know, the traditional paper-based style. So, you know, I'm sure you can all appreciate the uh, the amount of paperwork, the cost of the paperwork, and also the time um, that uh, that they experienced in delivering assessments and, and inductions on behalf of their client. Um, you know, and we see that uh, you know time is, is a big factor um, and a big challenge for you all uh, as you deliver paper-based inductions and assessments. What uh, you know, another client that we have uh, who deliver. Uh, paper-based assessments, um, they, they do that in the morning and then it can take a couple of days maybe for the, the results, you know, the, the courses to, to, to actually be sent off and marked and the results to come back into their laps again and this can slow up the whole recruitment process as you know, especially if you're in a hurry to, to, to place your candidates in, within your clients. A lot of um, people talk to us about uh, the, the, the risks that are involved with the, uh, let's say, communication um, problems that they have and they've got no way to assess how well candidates do speak and understand English. Now, as we know, the, the um, manufacturing industry is, is quite highly populated by um, workers who do come from other countries and are, you know, English speakers of other languages. So this can, can pose a big challenge on us and, and, and can, you know, actually cause great risks within our, our organization as well. One example of this, um, one of our clients actually going back a couple of years ago and they've been using our software now for, for a few years but uh, they had a fire within their factory site itself and um, you know naturally uh, they, they had to prove that they had taken all caution to um, you know make sure that these risks didn't actually happen but it so worked out that one of the employees the members of staff uh, was caught um, you know it was his fault he was caught smoking in the warehousing area and um, they used our, our technology to not only prove that he did um, he, he actually claimed that he didn't he didn't know that he wasn't supposed to be um, smoking in the, the, the environment but um, they, they, they were able to prove that he actually sat the induction and understood um, by way of uh, yes he answered the question correctly that uh, you know he wasn't supposed to be smoking in the, the environment itself but it also was used to to assess the level of English and Anne-Marie will take us through that a little bit more, but um, you know, again, we're able to to really assess how well our candidates um, are are able to speak the language and communicate properly within the um, within the particular role itself. So that gives you the recruiter confidence uh, to be able to place place your your, your candidates um, in, into them environments. As we know, you guys are being pushed more and more by your customers to deliver the likes of the inductions and training courses and assessments um, within the organization. So you guys have to find ways of, of being able to add value, um, you know, constantly add value to, to your customers and being able to offer them unique selling points so that you become their number one choice of recruitment partner every time. Interestingly enough, a couple of days ago, I, I had a, another recruitment company that I was chatting to where um, he was being pretty reactive to the competitive market that we were all involved in today. And uh, he was competing, well, competing for, for business that uh, he was the incumbent in the, um, with the contract and supplying services to his own customer. Um, but he was reacting to the basis that another um, recruitment company who was competing for the business, they were bidding for the business, was actually offering our technology to the customer. Um, so he needed to be able to provide that, um, you know, from, from his company perspective as well. So 
whether we like it or not, um, you know, this is the, uh, you know, effectively the environment that we're in and to compete for the business, we need to be able to offer these unique selling points um, to, to our customers. So uh, that's what we're going to show you today, guys, um, is, is how we help you address that. And uh, our, our solution to these problems that we actually have is by way of our group learner and respond point technology. Now, the technology is um, used in conjunction with each other, but it really does allow us to um, uh, easily deliver the group inductions and assessments and then be able to, to, to provide the certification back to the candidates um, in a group learning uh, environment itself. So yes, we, we can, with the technology, cut out a lot of the paperwork by, by getting the assessments and the inductions all brought online, um, get the results brought back in again where we don't have to mark them. We're able to create our own uh, paperless client inductions, so make them specific to the client need. Uh, with integration with PowerPoint, uh, we're able to, uh, within the classroom environment, add question slides into either assessments or quizzes, or indeed a lot of our clients actually use our technology to carry out employee surveys within their business. And um, with our interactive keypad system, you're able to, to make your, your classroom sessions a lot more interactive and believe it or not the, the knowledge that is retained through the use of the keypads actually increase uh, across the time as well um, and you also then have access to our group learner platform which is uh, by way of uh, an online you have your dedicated online account that you can access all the information so the results of inductions assessments or even pull down certifi certification or their certificates that maybe you've issued then then that's all available through your online account. This technology is all backed up and supported um, by our tablet applications as well. Um, so in the event of outside of a, a group environment and maybe you have a candidate that's come in for an interview and they're a great candidate for um, one of your, your clients jobs um, then you can assess them and um, you know put them through the induction on the spot like whilst they're in the interview room itself and um, just reach them the tablet and they can launch the, the ESOL assessment so you're able to ascertain okay do and knowledge of speaking and hearing English and numeracy that is required for this particular role so that you don't then invest any more time if, if the candidate isn't at the level that you need them to be, be at for that particular job group itself. And of course all the sign off is um, paperless and Anne-Marie will take us through how we can do that um, paperlessly on the tablet as well. So yes, that is a um, solution. What we're going to do now is hand over to Anne-Marie who will take us through the, uh, the solution in a little bit more detail. So if you bear with me a second whilst I hand over the reins and get her in the driving seat, I won't keep you a moment. Thanks for that, Pauline. Um, my name is Anne-Marie, and as Pauline mentioned earlier, um, I'm going to take you through the uh, the solution today. Um, I know Pauline just talked about um, a lot of the challenges um, that um, our, our recruitment companies have faced uh, prior to the, the introduction of our Respond Point and Group Learner solution. Um, I'm going to head on to um, two of our solutions today. Our response point, as Pauline mentioned, is all about the um, the ability to create your own bespoke uh, courses. And so, over the year, we we work with uh, recruitment companies who who complete their inductions, onboarding, manual handling. You might have some site specific food safety that your clients uh, want you to uh, adhere to. Um, as such, so um, I'm going to give you um, a little flavour for how you how you can easily cre create that. Our group learner solution uh, then is um, our blended learning um, and compliance uh, management solution, uh, which incorporates a, a full range of um, all of our CIH courses. 
which I will show you um, next. So these are all off-the-shelf courses that we have available on demand. Um, a lot of uh, the most popular courses that we that I have worked with recruitment companies over the years would be the likes of our Level 2 Food Safety and Manufacturing, which takes two and a half hours to complete, and you, you can deliver that in groups of 15 or 30, again, dependent on the, the size of your uh, training room. Um, the health and safety would also be very popular, manual handling um, and also our lesson reading and numeracy assessment that I'm going to take you through today. You can just see the, the little image uh, down there to the right hand side and that's um, our keypad um, the keypad kit where you have your receiver which plugs into the USB port on your laptop or machine and, and that's what actually picks up all the responses that the trainees have given and then you have your small handheld keypads which um, are quite similar to the concept who wants to be millionaire where the trainees answer the, um, assessment, que uh, the assessment questions via the keypad and um, so all of our courses are delivered um, via three delivery mechanisms and I'm going to go over um, the it's going to be the group delivery today that I'm, I'm going to delve into um, as such so if you can just visualize um, yourself um, in terms of the classroom environment again you can you'll have your um, laptop or PC hooked up to an overhead projector and screen and you have all your trainees sitting around um, with, with all their handheld keypad so it's a modern twist to, to how you're, you're currently um, doing the training session as such so what I'm going to cover today um, as much as I would like to, to delve um, a lot deeper into, into uh, all aspects of our technology. Um, I've just picked five items that recruitment co and having worked with recruitment companies over the years, um, it, it's just common questions that, that keep coming up um, over and over again. I'm going to uh, show you um, how to create your respond point course. Um, the second item is the, the literacy assessments and some of you may, may know it as um, ESOL assessments um, English for speakers of other languages. And then I'm going to show you um, the, to how to easily upload the file to get your instant results and certificates. Um, and as Pauline spoke earlier, each of our recruitment sites would uh, get their own um, dedicated online account or portal that you can log into all of your candidates information is saved in there um, that that can be available at the click of a button and then I'm going to show you some reporting features uh, that we have available within the online uh, dedicated account as well um, and then lastly I'm going to show you the, the tablet device um, and how, how you can easily um, launch a code course from with, uh, within the tablet and um, pass the tablet to the candidate. They can complete the ESOL assessment on the uh, tablet and then that syncs back up then to our dedicated online account and all that information then is safe for you. So the, the key um, to, to our solutions is, is all about reducing the risk and removing that paperwork. So I'm going to jump uh, directly now and to the, our, our Respond Point solution um, and our Respond Point solution is primarily um, delivered within uh, PowerPoint. So if you can um, work PowerPoint again, our, our Respond Point um, is, is, is just an add-in that is available within, um, within the PowerPoint. So you would primarily download our software um, and then you'll just see this respond point toolbar at the top. So again it's very simple, you can insert your, your different uh, assessment say, slides or refresher type slides and you have all your different options um, available there. So I have a, my receiver plugged in at the minute um, and again you can scan and you can do start testing then for keypads. Um, that I have here as well so um, you can just test them um, those ahead of the training session so if you can just visualize at this time as well all of your trainees are in the room and they've all been assigned a keypad um, so you can just see um, it's just your normal PowerPoint slides you can add in some videos there um, you can just see 
In terms of all of our uh, respond point uh, bespoke courses, um, our recruitment clients would always take the same format where they would have refresher questions throughout. So I can see immediately this is a respond point question type slide. Um, and having refresher, uh, refresher questions in there just means that the trainees get used to using the keypads. And then it also gives a facilitator real-time feedback in terms of the understanding of the group. Um, and then the, the um, final assessment questions then are normally at the end. So you can just see here, uh, what should you do if you need to leave the site unexpectedly? And then you have your possible um, answers um, on that as well. So any, um, any PowerPoint presentation assessment that you're currently delivering in-house, you can turn that into your own very active, um, interactive and engaging session using our uh, respond point technology. And then in terms of how you run that, um, it's, it's very easy. You just go into slideshow mode. Um, and you just run through, uh, as, you, as you do currently, just run through the slides. Um, and then you come to the uh, refresher question, and if at this point then you use a uh, trainer or facilitator would ask your question, uh, your uh, candidates, and um, you would read out the question and then get them to press one, two, three, or four on the keypad. So I have two keypads in front of me, uh, and I can see um, immediately the grid has gone uh, blue. Uh, color so that signifies the trainee has answered and um, so once I'm satisfied that all trainees have answered I can then press the spacebar and I can see immediately on the screen that um, 50% have, have answered option 2 and 50% have answered option 4. If um, for any reason, um, and you, you know, you can see, you can color code them as well, so you know the correct answer is option four. If um, perhaps maybe 90% had gotten it incorrect, then you as the, the trainer or uh, invigilator could then possibly go over certain aspects of that material again, um, because you can see immediately that the, the um, the, the knowledge um, as such um, isn't, um, isn't great on that uh, level as such. So again, you would you'd run through the slideshow when you go to your final assessments. Um, and then all you need to do then is to save your um, data slides. So you would then go to uh, save the data file and that's primarily saving all the responses that the trainees have given um, during the session um, on that. The second file then that you need to create is your class list and that's primarily mapping uh, the keypad number. So Polly McGrell has had keypad number one today. I would type um, the first name, uh, the last name and the date of birth and that's just for to prove and mapping uh, that Pauline had keypad number one and that's the electronic version of the uh, class list that we, we need to have when we go to the online portal to do the upload to get the instant results um, and uh, certificates. Um, and the third file then that we need is the um, hard copy um, of the class list. It's exactly the same as the class list, only for it has the trainee signature on it um, and you need to scan that into PDF format um, and, and then you have your three files. So for all of our training um, events completed using our technology, you need to have the uh, three files um, and you'll see later on um, when I log into the online portal why, why that is so. Um, so you need the data file which is primarily saving all the responses the trainees have given, you need the electronic version of the class list and then you need the PDF uh, version of that as well. So that, that is our respond point solution and, and again you can use that in a various uh, different applications, you can do quizzes, employee surveys um, and the only criteria required is that the the um, questions are multiple choice. So that is um, our respond point solution. I'm going to jump now into the um, how to run our ESOL assessments and that is primarily um, run within our group learner player. Uh, which is on my desktop. And I just just bear with me two seconds. I'll get onto the screen. 
And uh, this is the um, group learner player, and it's primarily just like your video player, your media player, um, and this is where all of our off-the-shelf CIH courses um, are run. Um, and for the uh, for today, we're going to run through the um, the ESOL or Listening, Reading, and Numeracy assessment. Uh, so again, quite similar to the respond point where you test your keypads. Um, you can just can test keypad number one. Stop testing. Um, here as well, you can see your course settings. So you might only have 10 um, in the group. You could change that to 10. Um, so very simply then, you can just open the course. And there's two options here where you may have it downloaded. Otherwise, you can find it on your um, your machine. Uh, you may have downloaded it onto the desktop. So I'm going to, uh, you can just see here, it's our ESO uh, Literacy and Numeracy Assessment. And you just double click on that. And that opens up the course. So it's quite similar to an e-learning type course, if, if you've ever, ever completed one, where you have your voiceover and your text um, on the screen. Um, and because there's voiceover on the screen, um, I, I'm not going to be able to talk throughout this, but what you'll see is it's just a live demo of the uh, the listening uh, module of, of this assessment. Um, it, it's broken down into three. There's uh, literacy, uh, numeracy, and assessment, uh, and new, literacy, uh, reading, and numeracy. And each module has 18 questions that you run through um, as such. Um, and then the at the at the bottom of the screen, you'll actually see the the, the grid in terms of how many trainees um, are there. So I'm just going to run through that now. And I just click on the wrong course. And let's see. What's your phone number? 020 one, two, three, four. What's your phone number? O two O seven six three nine one two three four. How many children have you got? I have two boys and one girl. How many children have you got? I have two boys and one girl. What's the time? It's six o'clock. What's the time? It's six o'clock. Okay, so that just gives you a little uh, live demo of our um, ESOL assessment, um, which I mentioned. So there's three, there's three modules. So you would run through all of the assessment questions. And again, as I mentioned within the PowerPoint um, presentation, um, once you, the, the most important thing this, is that you save the course. And so you can just see here immediately a, a date and timestamps the course. Um, because a lot of our recruitment clients would actually run uh, maybe three or four sessions in the one day. They could do um, ESOL assessments um, and also inductions and food safety on the one day as such. So that the, um, when you date stamp it, you know exactly what, what session that refers to. Um, and then it's required then when you um, have the three files, when you go to the online portal to, to upload the, uh, to get the results and the certificates. And um, so that's again what, what I mentioned when, um, within the respond point um, induction slide is what we call the data file. And again, you can create the uh, class list, which is again mapping the trainee to the actual keypad number um, on that. And then the third file is your hard copy then of the class list, um, which has the the trainee signature um, on it as well. So it's exactly the same as the electronic version of the class list. Only in this instance, it has the trainee signature. 
Um, so I'm logged in now to my um, online account and I'm going to go directly to the group learner respond point upload. So this is where I go and it's love me out. So I just log in here. So each um, individual branch or site would get their own uh, unique username and password. And so I'm just going to log in. Yes, there. Um, So when you log in, the, you'll, you'll see the um, dashboard. Such a my, my um, internet has just timed out. Group learner um, respond point. So this is where I'll go um, immediately to get the. Um, get the results. So as I mentioned earlier, you select the assessment data fetch to upload. You browse for the um, for that and I can see it's, it's immediately here. So this is my uh, data fetch. You then you select your class list, uh, which is the electronic version of the class list, which is again mapping the keypad number uh, to the trainee. Um, I think that and then you select your PDF attendance sheet, which is primarily the same as the classes, only for you have the uh, trainee signature for um, verification and, and auditing requirements. And then um, at the click of a button, you do upload course files, um, and that um, just sends the information um, stored in the cloud, and then it um, it pulls off then. And it just should give me a pop up to say that your data file has been successfully uploaded. If you're the admin user at, at the time as well, you'll get an email with the scores of the trainees, and, and then the certificates will also be attached to that as well. So the, the scores will pop up on the screen there. And if for any reason then you want to uh, log in to the trading plan to delve in deeper um, or to, to actually view the um, ESOL assessments. I can go into um, this particular trainee and I can go to, I can see uh, that he's completed the ESOL literacy and numeracy assessment. If I click on view and um, I can see um, from within this, I can then view the certificate again and I can view the signature, I, I can view the questions and answers. So for this uh, particular train, uh, candidate, which is Vassal, he's got an L1, which is low, low risk, an E3 and an E3. So if I view the questions and answers, I can um, then see the he had keypad number seven and I can see all the questions um, that, that has been given during that session. And that's the same with the um, your induction as well, where you can go in and you can um, see the all the questions and answers that's been given um, within that. And so again, uh, very, very simple um, within kind of a, you upload the data file, the electronic version of the class list, um, and then the PDF, and immediately um, on the screen you get your scores and your certificates um, in, in real time. So again, it, it's removing that whole paperwork, and so in the likelihood of you have a candidate um, and, and you, you want to do um, the ESOL assessment, on them within 30 40 minutes you, you can have have that score and you can make uh, the decision then whether you want to move them on to the next phase of uh, which may be the induction um, training as such the the next item on my agenda today is the uh, the reporting uh, mechanism that is, is available within our platform as well so again um, if i just click on the um, arrow here i can see all of the there's individual reports and there's ESOL course type reports. So if I do an individual uh, report, so if I do the cell again, I can just click on the show report and that brings up um, the screen to show me all of the training events that this candidate uh, has completed. He's completed two, he's done the ESOL and the induction training. Um, so just at the click of a button, I can, can get that information. Um, if one of your clients has perhaps asked you this morning that they require um, a candidate, maybe a machine operator that has a level one um, ESOL, 
um, the which L1 is, is the highest score that you can actually get in the ESOL, you can then go to our ESOL course report, which um, allows you to, to pull off, um, to set the criteria in terms of the what you require. Um, and you can pull that off, just loading here a bit. So that is the just showing you the certificate as well that you can get from uh, from within the portal. And again, this is emailed to the the candidate um, as well. So you see the scores um, of the trainees. So that's so I think my internet is is just dropped there as well. So. It so, much so what I'm going to do, um, so that is the reporting feature. So what I'm going to jump into um, now is the the tablet um, device, which is the ability to that allows you to to run and launch your courses on the tablet device. And let's just go down. Um, so again, if you have your own tablet um, and house, you can download our Group Learner app. And, and once you bring that down, um, you can see the home page here, which is your um, you can see your training plans, your manager report, your training courses. So you're going to go directly into uh, your training courses. So if you have a new candidate come in uh, today, you can take a photo of them on the tablet um, and you can then click on the training courses. And that brings you in then to all of the, the training, training courses that have been available that you've downloaded. Um, you can see the, the first one there is the food, food allergen and labelling awareness. So you can launch that. Um, and then you then select the uh, training that you want to uh, complete the training course today. Um, and that immediately brings up the course, uh, the food allergen course. And you can hand the, the tablet then to that uh, designated trainee and they can complete the course on the tablet. Um, and then you can just see just it brings up then the course overview. Um, and again, once they've completed that, the, the uh, summary questions will pop up and you can get the scores in real time. That syncs back up then to your dedicated online account. And um, all that information then is stored, so you can log in and then see all of that candidate information at the click of a button. So I, I hope I've given you a little flavour in terms of, of uh, how our recruitment companies are using our uh, response point for their inductions, onboarding, and also our group learner solution uh, where they access all of our off-the-shelf food safety, health and safety courses. And they, they log in then to the, the dedicated online account and do the upload, get the results in real time, um, and um, have that information at the click of a button. So I'm going to pass you over now uh, back to Pauline, and she's going to um, just conclu conclude her webinar today. Thanks again for your time. Thanks for that, Anne-Marie. Um, guys, I'm really sorry. I, I, I forgot to let you know where um, to put your questions or ask your questions if you did have questions. Now, on your um, little uh, control panel for uh, or the GoToWebinar control panel that you have, you want to click your little red button. There is a bottom, uh, down at the bottom of the, the area, uh, the, the, the control panel, sorry, there's a questions area that uh, you type in your questions there. So um, if any of you want to have questions um, or do have questions, um, please pop them in there and we will uh, attempt to, offer, to, to, to answer them for you. As I mentioned before, um, you know, we do find that with the recruitment sector and we know how you know, um, sharing information, um, you want to protect the information and that. So I will um, follow up with you guys um, individually anyhow. But, um, if no one has any questions, which I don't see any coming through, but we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, yeah, just just want to, I, I suppose, um, give you a bit of an idea as to, you know, if you do want to look further 
at the system itself then uh, or even have a one-to-one -one chat or demonstration then um, you will be able to uh, log on and uh, request a demo online.